There's so many things that contribute to a, to a great harvest. It can be the weather through the whole season. It can be the weather actually at this particular point. Like today, we've got very nice weather, very clear and warm, so it drives the sugar levels up. The flavor in the berries, though, is, is so essential. It isn't just the sugar, it's also the flavors there. And so especially with this year, the, the weather that we had right at the end, and the berries in the Cabernet being very small and intense, we just got loads of flavor in on top of the sugar. And then for a good harvest, it's, uh, it's always fun to have uh, friends and family and, uh, and to have a good time as, as we're doing it. So that makes for a nice time too. I suppose this is as close as I'll ever come to having a baby. Uh, each year it's about the same thing, you know, as, as you get closer and closer to actually giving birth, which is kind of like the harvest. Uh, it's, it's very exciting and there's so much anticipation that goes into it. And, and then of course, once you, you have the, the must and the, and the grapes in the form of must and you're working with it, then you can write away you can tell yeah, how the wine's going to turn out. I mean there's certain characteristics you can smell the fruitiness of it, you can uh, tell the color and the consistency of it. Every every wine has its own personalities. Well that'll bring an end to our 2011 growing season here on a beautiful day in October in the Napa Valley. It certainly has been a challenging season with all the rain and different kinds of weather that we've had but in the end, the fruit turned out just beautiful, both here in the Cabernet Vineyard and also the Zinfandel. There's just a couple of things left to do before the plants go completely into dormancy. One, we'll wind up all the, the netting and, and uh, put it away, get it ready for next year. And then one last thing we'll do, we'll actually irrigate one more time. The vines uh, have a little bit of shoot growth after we pick them and uh, they'll pull up some carbohydrates and get themselves ready for a bud break next year. So thanks very much for joining us once again and look forward to seeing you soon here at One Acre Wines in the Napa Valley.